everybody, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. So, yes, I am finally back here on BookTube. It's been about a month since I uploaded my last video. I really do apologize about that. I've been really, really busy with school, and my, like I said in previous videos, my schoolwork really did pick up in October and in November, but I'm almost done with the semester, so I'll have more time to read, more time to film, and everything. It's just going to be back to normal, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So, in the month of November, since my schoolwork really picked up, like I said, I only got the chance to read three books. I did the same in October uh, for the same reason. But all the books I read in the month of November, I really did enjoy. So, let's just jump in. So, the first book I'm going to talk about was sent to me for review by the um, publisher. That book is The Infinity of You and Me by J.Q. Coyle. This book actually came out on November 8th. And I got this book back in uh, September, I believe, and I really enjoyed reading it. It is a young adult science fiction novel, um, and it follows our main character, Alicia. And she has been having these hallucinations about other worlds that don't seem real. And one day, her estranged father comes to her 15th birthday party and tells her that these hallucinations that she's been having are actually not just hallucinations, they are actual things that are actually happening. And it kind of follows her adventures from there. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I did have some problems with it, but I will have a whole review on that coming up soon. Um, and yeah. The next two books are actually by the same author and they are in the same series. One of them was a reread for me and the second one was a one I had hadn't finished but I had started before and those are the first two books in the Divergent trilogy so the first book is obviously Divergent and the second book is Insurgent. I didn't get to Allegiant uh, yet but I plan on reading that this month uh, this month in December so Divergent was a reread this is one of my favorite dystopians of all time if not my personal favorite I really enjoyed it I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars the first time I read it and I kept the same rating for the second time I read it I love it one of the best dystopians I have ever read and the second book, the last book I read in the month of December, was the second book in that series that is Insurgent. This is obviously book two in the, in the trilogy. I really enjoy this. I had started reading it back, I believe, in March. It was right before the Alleg Allegiant movie came out. Um, I didn't get the chance to finish it, but I did finish it. I gave it a four out of five stars. I really did enjoy it. did have some problems with it. But overall, I had a really good reading experience with it. So those are all the books I read in the month of November, and now we are going to get into the books that I plan on reading in the month of December. So I'm pretty being pretty ambitious with my December TBR. Uh, I don't know how many of these books I'm going to get to, but hopefully I get to a good majority of them. So the first book has been on my TBR for quite some time, and you guys won't be surprised at all, and that book is Outlander by Diana Capaldon. I've been meaning to read this since the day I picked it up from Barnes & Noble back in July. I just haven't had the time to read it. I love the what I've heard from the um, summary on the back. I think it's an interesting story. It's very well known out here on BookTube. Hopefully I'll get to it. Um, I'm not a big historical fiction fan, but I've heard so many th good things about this that maybe I'll jump on the bandwagon and, pick and decide to continue on with the series. The next book I'm going to talk about is the one I am reading right now. This is actually the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month um, for the month of November, but I did not get to it. But that book is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Uh, this is a, another young adult science fiction novel. Um, it follows our main character, Nemesis, and she is a diabolic. So she is born to protect one specific person. And the person she is assigned to protect is going to be sent on this dangerous um, sort of mission. So the way that Nevisus can protect her is to become that person. And it just really intrigued me from the minute I heard about it from Sasha and Reagan. And it sounded really good. Uh, Reagan gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm not so sure what Sasha gave it, but um, I'm hoping to really enjoy it as much as they did. Um, so I'm reading that right now, and hopefully I'll be done with it in a couple days. The next book is... One that I've actually met the author, if you guys have seen my first book signing experience video, which I'll link in the description box below if you guys are interested. Um, this wasn't the book I met the author for. Uh, I have the, his other book in this pile as well. And that book is In Real Life by Joey Graceffa. This is his memoir. And Joey Graceffa is also a, obviously a very well-known uh, YouTuber here on YouTube. Um, and this was his first book. He published it last year, I believe. It came out in May. 
And I've been meaning to pick this up for, since it came out. And the great thing about Joey is he's actually from my home state of Massachusetts. He grew up in Boston, like I did as well. And uh, I can relate to a, what a lot of the things that I've heard that are included in this book. So I'm hoping to really enjoy it as much as I think I will. The next book I have is one I actually owned the sequel to first and I didn't realize it until I bought it and that book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This is a young adult dystopian novel um, and it follows our main character Mayor. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And in this society there is two classes, the Red Bloods and the Silver Bloods. I believe the Silver Bloods have powers and the Red Bloods don't. I could be mistaken. Um, but our main character, she is red blood, but she has powers, and uh, no one in the red blood society has any. So I thought that was really cool. I've heard mixed reviews about this series. A lot of people either really, really love it or really don't. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this because I love dystopian, but we shall see. The next book is one I've also heard really fantastic things about, and that is Stealing Snow by... Uh, Danielle Page. I've heard really good things about this as well. This is the Prusy Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of October, I believe. Um, didn't get to it. Finally picked it up just a couple of days ago. Hoping to get to it soon. It's a retelling of the fairy tale that uh, Frozen is based off of, which is the Snow Queen. And it follows our main character, Snow. And she, at the beginning of the book, I guess, is in a psychiatric hospital. And that sounds really intriguing. And I've had my things with retellings, but I own a couple that I'm hoping to enjoy, so we shall see with this one. The next book is by the uh, an author I just talked about previously, and that is Children of Eden by Jerry Graceppa. This is another young adult dystopian novel. There's going to be a, quite a few dystopians on this list. I'm so sorry about that. Um, and I met Joey, obviously, like I mentioned before, and I'll have the video linked up down below of me talking about it. Um, and it is signed, and I'll show you guys the signature. I showed you guys back in last month what it looks like. Here it is again. It is signed. Here we go. Let's see. You guys can see that. It is signed. And I am very intrigued. The main reason I picked it up was because it was by Jory Gosepa, and it's a young adult dystopian. So hopefully I'll like it. And the last book I have on this list is another book I've been meaning to pick up for quite some time. And that book is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. It's a, another um, part of the Percy Jackson series. This is, I believe, the sequel series. So this focuses, I believe, on Roman mythology, whereas Percy Jackson focuses more on Greek mythology. But I heard there's some Greek mythology intertwined with this book. So I mean to pick it up. I love Percy Jackson. So hopefully I'll love this series as well because the characters are more closer to my age. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit, that, forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll have all my social media links linked in the description box below as well as my blog. I also have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads if you guys are interested in checking those out. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!